Justin. Uh, you know, we haven't spoken to you in a while. Talk about, you know, U-17s and how that went in your perspective. Yeah, I think our U-17 athletes, they wrestled hard and they, they did great. I mean, we had a champ um, and Jaden Rady and then Jordan Rainey had a bronze. Um, you know, we had uh, uh, Jeter. I believe wrestling for bronze medal, so that was awesome. So it's like, I feel like our, our development, we've got great athletes and we've got um, just good kids and coaches that are doing a lot and they're, they're, they're excelling on the international level, so that's great to see. And then, you know, you're talking about seeing great athletes. I mean, they did even better at, at U20s and it seemed like, uh, you know, you got two silvers and a bronze. Talk about that performance as well. Yeah, that was super exciting watching that tournament. You know, you got those both guys in the finals. That was like just a huge lift. Um, and then also seeing uh, Aiden, he actually had an injury that Tuesday before and then ended up wrestling through the tournament and getting the bronze. So that was awesome. Three medals at the U20 tournament. I mean, that's, you know, top six finish. So that was huge. Um, and we're just looking to see those guys hopefully able to retain them and, and keep them wrestling at the senior level. And now talk about, you know, what we're kind of doing here today, you know, you're at a clinic and, you know, World yeah. Team Trials is kind of going on as well. Talk about the clinic first and how that went in your perspective. Yeah, I think the clinic was great. Uh, kids worked really hard. Uh, it's it's always fun getting out in the community and, and teaching kids more about Greco-Roman wrestling. Uh, it's very hot. I forgot how humid it is out here in the Midwest. But um, I look like, I mean, I look like I actually did something, but I was just kind of walking around and uh, coaching. But it was uh, it was fun. I mean, it's fun. Being in there on the mat and in the wrestling room is, is the fun part of this job. And so uh, it was good to see the kids coming out. And yeah, we got trials coming up in the next couple days. But uh, it was one of those things we figured we were going to be out here anyway, so might as well um, do a clinic and try to find some more future Greco wrestlers. You know, talk about like giving back to the sport. And, you know, like like you just said, you know, it's always good to teach and, and give advice to you know younger wrestlers about Greco. And talk about kind of the the impact that you can have from doing that yeah i mean i think we got a lot of great greco wrestlers in the in the united states like past past um athletes and, and coaches and everything and it would be great if we could get everybody to just give back a little bit i mean i, th I think that's how everybody excels i know that i had mentors and coaches that really helped me along the way and if it wasn't for them i, I probably wouldn't have progressed as much as i did uh, well definitely wouldn't have progressed as much as i did and so anytime we can help talk to a kid about traveling and wrestling the world championships, wrestling the Olympics and kind of help cast that vision and spread that dream. Um, I think that's great. I think that's what it, it needs to take because it's there's just not a lot of kids that hear that. And so anytime you're able to share that message, I think it's great. And now, you know, like you said, giving back to the community, them being able to see, you know, talk about your excitement level of the world team trials and them being able to really see this high level, you know, athletes and, and uh, performances that are going to go on in the next couple of days and what they can learn from that. Yeah, I, I think anytime you're a kid, you can get out and watch these senior performances. That's huge. I remember being a kid and going to Las Vegas Open and watching, gosh, I mean, I remember watching Kurt Angle. I remember watching Bruce Baumgartner. I remember watching Dave Schultz. I mean, all these guys, like all these greats and just watching them. It was just such a, a cool event to be able to go see those guys. And now um, people can go to the trials and they can see these world-class athletes wrestle it's just and again I think it helps cast that vision a little bit more um, as far as seeing what's what's possible what's your excitement level for uh, trials in the next couple of days and is there you know a weight class that you're kind of looking forward to I mean it's I think all the weight classes are gonna be great I think you know um, you know 70 I mean, all the weights are pretty stacked because it's like you got all those guys that um, didn't, they're not in the Olympic weights, and so they kind of all pulled together. So I think it's a pretty good tournament turnout. I think good sized brackets. Uh, so I think it should be fun to watch throughout the, you know, top to bottom. What's your expectations from those athletes, and what are you looking forward to seeing out of the trials? I mean, I'm hoping that the guys can just let loose and and really go out there and wrestle, like showcase what they've been working so hard to develop, um, wrestling without a whole lot of inhibitions, and just really wrestling to win and wrestling to have fun.